All right, look at look how I look at my joint. Look. Woo! Tell hey, me that's an airplane. Anybody, I dare you. I dare you. Let's go back out. Now look, because look, these are the brothers right here. This is not fake. Look at this. That is a chariot of the Lord, man. Come on, zoom in it back in on it. Come on, Yo, man. The I'm Lord, getting the fuck out of here, man. The Lord man. is about to get us up out. Look at look how I look at my joint. Look. Woo! Tell oh, yeah. me that's an airplane. Anybody, I dare you. I dare you. Let's go back out. Now look, because look, these are the brothers right here. This is not fake. Look at this. That is a chariot of the Lord, man. Come on, zoom in it back in on it. Come on, Yo, man. The I'm Lord, getting the fuck out of here, man. The Lord man. is about to get us up out. Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh is the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world eminently calls Jesus Christ. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. And I want to give double honors to the elders, the great millstone who will well through the Spirit, teaching this word and believing this word. Lord willing, they can continue to endure and be sincere. And a mighty shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered four corners of the earth, teaching this word and believing in this word. Lord willing, they can continue to pursue that crown in the same spirit right and shalom to the aqua team that are believers of the faith low willing you can continue to pursue your lot which is being a loving and silent virtuous wife and low willing the most i have mercy on the other brothers and sisters that's not in the faith right so in this video you know move by faith and not by sight you know what i'm gonna get that one first since uh i spoke on it This is this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Now, uh, the true children of Yahweh Shema Shai, when they grow into this knowledge and grow in faith, uh, uh, they're going to be moved to be looking up, you know, and they're going to be seeing uh, the, the heavenly host, right, which is the angels. Right now, we're not going to see them in close face value, right? Unless, you know, the Lord let them reveal themselves like that. But we only able to see them from a distance. You know, Amos 9, I believe it's chapter 9, verse 8. The Lord eyes upon the sinful kingdom. Even more, he's seeing it through his angels. Hey, he could even see it through us, right? But the angels are on a mission too. They're not just sitting up around. We all the vessels work. You know, and the angels got, got, got duties that they have to, right? And there's certain verses that we'll go to, especially Psalms 34, verse 7. The angels are coming down here, right? And you might not be able to see them for face value, like I keep saying, but you're going to look up and you're going to see things that that's, that's humanly impossible, the way that. Uh, some of these things move as fast as they do. I know what airplanes, jets, and helicopters look like from far away, close up, let alone when it comes to radar, you know, uh, in the atmosphere or, you know, just radar just for airplanes in Esau's kingdom. They have to have those signals on their plane. Most of them is red, blue, or white, and it goes on and off. Sometimes they blink differently, right? But it's mostly in the same function. And most of the time, you can hear the, the engine sound of a plane, right? But with these chariots, you don't. Let alone it be a solid color and it don't be blinking. Now, sometimes me and my brothers do see them blink, but they'll blink and, and go straight and disappear. Some of them go super fast. Uh, uh, like, and you'll see like a blue or a white streak follow them because they're moving faster than, faster than how a human body can move, right? But for the ones that's in this thing of faith and they believe in the Lord's vehicles, uh, the chariots, and they ha and you've seen them, you've seen videos, this is for you. For the ones that be like, hey, who's to say that they seen them? You don't move by faith. So again, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight, right? So this is a, a faith-based 
video is going to encourage you to continue to look up and continue to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai, knowing he's observing, he's watching, you know. But this is 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 12 to 17, dealing with Elisha and his servant. It says, And one of his servants said, uh, None, my lord, O king. But Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, in hosts come past the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, At last, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Right? And I was even in the same boat before, right? Because I wasn't uh, established in the Lord's ministry, right? I used to come at uh, my captain Yarmaya, like, man, no, nah, I mean, you didn't see no chariot. But he allowed in certain moments, especially when we was in HOI, to leave from Buffalo all the way to Philly. I seen a chariot, right? Uh, uh, having a uh, bonfire, right? A little fire in there, in my, the, you know, the captain's uh, house, right? He, um, uh, I seen a fireball chariot. And we all, me, my wife, my brother, like we all jumped up. And we, when we looked, it hurry up and shot out the atmosphere. We saw it shoot out the atmosphere, right? And I had to like take accountability. I was coming at him like, oh man, no, you didn't see it. But you know what it was that helped me grow? It was faith and somebody was praying for that increase. You know, maybe it was my brother. Maybe it was either one of my wives or my children. Somebody was praying for the elect, praying for the men of the Lord. But hey, it's people praying for the elect. You know, Yahweh Shai was praying for the elect. He was praying for the believers. So how much more is, is men and women praying for the elect? Praying for the 144,000. Praying for the men to be sincere in their faith. And allow me to grow. And I've been seeing chariots every week i'm not the only witness shamuala asher yarmayan david bashar all these brothers is a witness and can test to seeing chariots weekly weekly man and some of them just is mind-blowing is a lot of times we took recordings sometimes we were just so shocked i couldn't even grab my phone you know but right there and then he opened up uh, the servant's eyes and the servant was able to see chariots. I'm going to read verse 17. It says, And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, Yahweh, I pray thee, open, it, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man and saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses. Horses represents power and chariots of fire round about them right those is chariots those are the vehicles of the lord right all praise to the most high for that one right let me see something real quick let me see something real quick Let's see so i went to the word of of horses now it goes into power. Strong's H5483. Seuss. Seuss. Second entry. Cease. Cease. So it says swallow and swift. Swift. Right? You got other uh, 
moments in scripture, especially like with David, um, when when the Lord uh, passed by over the mulberry tree. He said, when you hear it, then that's your sign that you can go, right? And that's a swift, right? Let me let me look up the word swift. Let's look up the word swift. And I'm gonna let you hear that I'm with Swift. You. Okay, swift. Happening quickly, abruptly, rapid or sudden. Um, a super, super official resemblance to a swallow or spending most of his time, most of his life on the wing. So to move swiftly or fly swiftly is moving or capable of moving very quickly and rapidly. They got multiple uh, meanings to it, but again, swift, right? Usually swift is kind of smooth right but it says moving or are capable of moving with great speed right in some of these chairs like when we like i'm zoomed up now i didn't give you the example of me zooming out and then zooming up because brothers were just so excited but um if it was zoomed out you would have been able to see how fast it was moving but zooming out too far this this is my camera Zooming, zooming, zooming. So if I would have zoomed out, it would have been, you wouldn't be able to really see it, you know? But that's how fast some of these be moving. Sometimes they can move a little slower, right? So let's get another precept. This is Psalms 34, verse 7. It says, The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them, right? So if they're encamping, they're basically uh, in in uh, in a guard, or they're surrounding you, right? And so you have to know the heavenly heavenly angels is surrounding us, man. And if you're going through certain problems or certain situations, they're the ones that's that's on guard for you. This is why, uh, you know, uh, nobody can touch the anointed. You seen what happened with with Saul? You seen what happened with David? Right, the elect is the anointed ones under Yahweh's shot. Right, and this is why the angels have a a uh, uh, a purpose and a mission to protect and guide. You know, the the elect. Right. Let's go to another one in history. Let's go to Second Chronicles, the 16th chapter, and verse nine. This is Second Chronicles 16 and 9. It says, For the eyes, for the eyes of the Lord Yahweh run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. Right? So literally, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai uh, is searching the whole earth. His eyes are going to and fro, right? But he even he has the angels that's 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 working, you know. You gotta think the 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 elect men, even the sisters, us down here, we're working for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? We're working. This this one truth right here. Is a non-stop uh, uh, job, man. You know, or non-stop movement. Let's get another one. Let's go into the gospel, Luke chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-eight. 
In the KJV, it says that when these things begin to come to pass, let me let me start up. Let's start at 26. It says, men, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. This is not talking about no Goku, right? This is talking about like if you've seen the movie, no. Go watch the movie, no. Symbolically, that chariot was, was being swift, moving in a crazy smooth way and fast. And it was always going behind a cloud. Now, from what I heard, uh, from uh, like you gotta probably like look it up. The director of that, uh, I know he got a show with the other brother. I think his name is Pill. I, for, I forgot, but it's it's two comedians. Uh, he said, you know, to help, you know, he had to get certain things from the Bible, right? But the in the movie that chariot kept going behind a cloud, so a cloud moves smoothly, right? It moves smoothly and a cloud can go forward, back, left, and right. No human body. We can't do like we can't do that. In airplanes, they gotta turn all the way around. A helicopter can, but it's not moving in a fast pace. And it can't even go that high up. Right? So Yahawashai is coming on a cloud, but it's gonna be a chariot. Right? And you gotta know when you go to second Ezra's the thirteenth chapter, Yahawashai is gonna be on a chariot that's that look like a mountain. And you won't even be able to see the end of the region. So it could possibly be bigger than a, a city state or it's going to most likely be bigger than the whole country of the United States. Because it's going to black. It's going it's going to be dark when Yahweh Shema Shai come, you know. But uh, verse 28, which is really the point, it says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw off nine. Right. And this is why us brothers, we continue to look up. Right. Because we know our redemption is coming from above. Some people say, oh, Yahusha is already on the earth. Then you got some that believe who's going to say uh, uh, you even believe in, uh, who, who even say that they actually did see a chariot. You know, then that just mean you ain't looking up. Then brothers want to use uh, Jeremiah chapter 10. You know what? Let me let me go to that. Right. Because brothers, and you got even sisters trying to open up their mouth and they want to use they want to use this verse. Right? This is uh this is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Right? The heathen is not teaching you about chariots. Especially Esau, he called them UFO. UFOs, unidentified aircrafts. Then they try to show you it's a green person, it's that and it's and that. So the, the the ways of the heathen. Right, hold on. Uh do not learn the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for uh the heathen are dismayed at them. This is going into them of the astrology, right? Lining up the stars, the Muslims, but but uh, Muslims or however you want to call it, Islamic belief, right? Before Muhammad came into play, they was believing in moons and stars, right? The things, the things above. I forgot the. Um, I'm thinking of the word, but it's not there. But like the stars, right? Things like when they make a line or they make a. Oh, there's Ryan's belt. Let me read in the NLT, Jeremiah 10 and 2. It says, this is what the Lord Yahweh says. Do not act like the other nations who try to read their future in the stars, right? Do not be afraid of their predictions, even though other nations are terrified by them. Now, that just even made it smoother. That's in the NLT, you know, but other nations went by astrology and other things too, you know, so uh, brothers can't use that. Oh, brother, no, nah, don't be dismayed like uh, uh, by the by the ways of the heathen. What heathens is not thinking of the chariots and the vehicles of the Lord. And if they was, they would be fucking terrified. You know, 
Because literally, side note, nobody can fuck with Yahweh Bajra. Not me, not you, not your mom, not Uncle Ray Ray, not Tiffany, not Jessica, not Shelby. Nobody can mess with him, man. You either get, get, get in line or get destroyed. Right? So let's keep this, let's keep this engine going. Let's go to 2 Chronicles chapter 32. Let's go to verse 7 and 8. It says, be strong, uh, be strong and cur uh, courageous. Be not afraid nor dismayed for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than with him, right? Because the Assyrian king was getting a little prideful, just like Esau. And that's why through the spirit, this is why, you know, America is symbolic through the spirit, just like Assyria. Really like these kings that get prideful and like all these all these other nations have God and did their God save them? Don't believe in, don't listen to King Hezekiah, right? And the Lord sent an angel down and destroyed about 185,000 Assyrians, man. The angel did it by himself. Literally, y'all don't even know that one angel of Yahweh Shemashai can destroy everybody on this earth, right? So read in verse 8, it says, with him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord Yahweh our power to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah King, right? And this is what we need to do every day. Rest on the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shai through his prophets. We're nothing. We're just messengers, individuals that the Lord is moving us through the Rakakwadash. Let alone we move to the Rakakwa Dash even more when you are in unity with your brethren. When you are all singing the same song, right? Because literally the Lord is going to uh, hold you accountable if you're teaching something wrong. Guess what? The Lord will wake somebody up and see your video and they could really be a true man of the Lord. And you could have said something wrong and you hear them out and then you got a chance to fix that, you know, because the Lord is, uh, is working with his children. And, and the, the shepherds is watching a flock of the sheep, right? And even part of that flock is a, a so-called teacher, right? What well, didn't Paul check uh, Peter, right? Because one minute he, he in the face of the Gentiles, but as soon as he see the Jews, he want to act like he not, or when he want to act a certain way, Paul got on him, you know? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a teacher or a prophet, right? But I'm still a student. Because I'm still watching the other men of the Lord bring out this word so that I can grow more in faith, that I can be more sharp, right? And that's all it is, right? So again, you know, we got to hold on to the words of what the prophet said before our time and even now because they believed in the power of Yahweh Shemashai. They believed and know that he was there. Even though he's silent, you might not be able to hear him, right? He is there. Right, I'm gonna play the video and then I'm gonna uh, uh, bring out one more. Right, look at, look how I look at my drum. Look. Woo! Tell yeah. me that's an airplane. Anybody, I dare you. I dare you. Let's go back out now. Look, because look, these are all the brothers right here. This is not fake. Look at this. That is a chariot of the Lord, man. Come on, zoom in it back in on it. Come on, Yo, man. The I'm Lord, getting the fuck out of here, man. The Lord man. is about to get us up. Out. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 50 to 53. I'm going to read in the KJV, then I'm going to read in the NLT, and then we'll close. This is Matthew 26, verse 50 in the KJV. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on, on Yahweh Shai and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew his sword. And struck a servant of the high priest and smote off the ear, smote off his ear. That's this is Peter. Then said Yahweh unto him, Put up again thy sword unto unto his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? Right? And I'm just saying a side note. You know, of course, I know, hey, that's that's a lot of love and respect. Peter holding up that knife, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, to protect Yahweh Shai. 
But at the end of the day, if you live by the sword, you're going to die. How much more for us on this side? You know, just by faith, you know, we know Esau can go like this. You know, you might have a shot. You might have a, a nine millimeter. You might have something, you know, to defend yourself. But in most cases, what's more stronger than that is the faith because things must be fulfilled, right? And we don't want to take away from what could happen to us because uh, we might be the ones that go into FEMA camp or be beheaded. And that's just going to fill uh, fulfill scriptures. And family members or friends, anybody around is going to grow in faith. Or somebody's going to lose faith and they're going to be taken out of this thing and they're going to be truly, there really truly was a two-third. So let me just read verse 54. It says, but how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be, right? And if you do this, how can the scripture be fulfilled? Peter had to deny Yahweh So say if Peter killed all of them, when would, when was going to be the time for him to deny Yahweh Everything had to be fulfilled, you know? Even Yahweh being taken by them, right? So let's read this in the NLT. Matthew 26, verse 50. In the NLT, it says, Yahweh said, my friend, go ahead and do what you have come for. Okay. Then the others grabbed Yahweh and arrested him. But one of the men with Yahweh put out his sword and struck the high priest slave, slashing off his ear. And put, uh, put away your sword, Yahweh told him. Those who use the sword will die by the sword. Don't you realize that I could ask my father for thousands of angels to protect us? And he would send them instantly. But if I did, how would the scriptures be fulfilled that describe what must happen now? In James chapter 1, verse 5, you know, I, hey, if you lack anything, lack any wisdom, you can ask Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Let alone his other verses where it says, uh, knock and it shall be open, ask and it shall be given, right? We supposed to be asking Yahweh by Shem Shai, especially in the worst time, right? The Lord might come and help. Azariah, Susanna, did she just pray and call on the Lord? And the Lord brought uh, Daniel right at that last moment before she go to jail. Azariah and them, why the fire is coming in and they over here thinking on the Lord and even more praying, you know? What about Hezekiah, man? Then Isaiah prayed for him, and the Lord gave Hezekiah 13, uh, what, 15 more years to live. You know? That that prayer is a, is a power, but it's really you begging the Lord for help. That's what prayer is. Especially in your worst moment, instead of you taking po uh, power in your own hands, you calling on your how by Shimei was shot. You know? So, Lord willing, this is edifying to the whole for elect. Um, hey, Lord willing, you 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 can move by faith and not by sight. Again, the the point of this video, I hope the the few times that I did show you the video, I didn't speak on it. So now I'm gonna let you see it. While you watching that that bright white ball, look at the other lights blinking. It's other lights blinking in there. So it should this support this video is supposed to give you give you strength and faith to know like wow it's it was probably way more chariots up there probably just sitting there or moving way they were probably moving too but they were probably higher up because you could only catch them blinking fading out you know my phone not that good to see a star it's too far away right but these is is in either eye distance or level for my phone to catch so watch it again and play close attention to other blinking lights. All right, look at look how I look at my joint. Look. Woo! Tell oh, yeah. me that's an airplane. Anybody, I dare you. I dare you. Let's go back out. Now look, because look, these are all the brothers right here. This is not fake. Look at this. That is a chariot of the Lord, man. Come on, zoom in it back in on it. Come on, Yo, man. The I'm Lord, getting the fuck out of here, man. The Lord man. is about to get us up out. Shalom, shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash.